Right, Larry, are you listening carefully? Yes. Right, once upon a time, there was a man called Henry. Okay, and Henry had a wife. But unfortunately, Henry's wife was very ill. Okay, and he needed to get some medicine to make her better. But he couldn't afford the medicine because he had no money. And so he couldn't make her better. And she was getting really, really ill, and he just couldn't afford the medicine that was in the shop. So, one night, he went out in the middle of the night, and he broke in to the medicine shop, and he stole the medicine, and brought it home, and gave it to his wife, and he made her better. Now, was he right to steal the medicine? No. Why? Because it's unkind. Why? Because cause it makes other people sad. Who did it make sad? It makes the shopkeepers sad. Did it? What about his wife, though? And his wife... Uh, I think her wife was happy. His wife was happy? So did he do the right thing, then? No. Why? Because... Because... Because he wanted to, he wanted medicine, but he couldn't exist. He couldn't what? He couldn't exist. That was what, if the shopkeepers went round to his house, he had the shopkeeper will say, "Why have you stole my medicine?" He will say, "Because my daughter's feeling uh, sick, and it'll make her doctor's sad." And he brought it home and he gave it to his wife and made her better. Right. Was he right to do that? No. Why? Because even though his wife might die, he might get in jail. Okay. And maybe even die himself. Both do pe um, at what him dying instead of his wife. Why might he die? Because like crucified. Why did he be crucified? Just because... No, he wasn't. What about his wife? Do you think... What do you think his wife would think about it? Bad, well, and he might break up. Why? Uh, because he wasn't breaking in. But why was he doing it? Just to... Just to make his wife feel better. So what do you think she felt about it? Happy. So was he right to do it? No, no, no. Why? Oh, I can't explain that. No, you're doing a really good job, tell me. I just... Uh, it... Uh... But... It wasn't right because otherwise... The... Otherwise the people at the medicine store will find out and one bottle of it that was stolen. And we'll be really upset. I'm mad. Now, there was a boy mm -hmm. called Harry. Yeah. Okay. And at break, he cleaned up the schoolyard because there's lots of rubbish in it and cleaned it all up. And then, without anyone knowing. Mm -hmm. And then, when they all went back into class, the teacher said, I've just been out in the yard and I noticed somebody has cleaned up. And Harry put his hand up and said, Yeah, it was me. Was he naughty to do this, or was he good to say this? Uh, good. Why? Because he he did do it. Okay. Okay. Question two. There was a boy called Ryan, and he really liked making paper airplanes. And he wanted to make some paper airplanes, but the only thing he had was a school book. Okay, so he ripped the pages out of a school book and he made paper aeroplanes with it. When the teacher opened the book, they saw that there's all these missing pages. And they said, who has, the teacher said to the class, who has ripped out all these pages of the book? And Ryan said, I did it. Was he good or naughty saying that to the teacher? Good. Why? Because he was, because he, he w was honest because he did do it. Okay, thank you. Question three. Mm -hmm. 
There's a girl called Shelley at school and all the children have made a lovely display on the wall. Okay, and Shelley, when no one was there, got a pen and scribbled all over this lovely display everyone had done. And when the teacher came back in, she saw the scribble all over the display and said, Shelley, have you scribbled on the display? And Shelley said, no, I didn't do it. Was she good or naughty to say that to the teacher? Naughty. Why? Because she did do it. Anything else? No. Right, question four. Hmm? There was a boy called John. Okay, and he came into school and he had left his packed lunch at home. And he felt really silly and embarrassed and he didn't know what to do. So when he went out for break, okay, another boy called Billy got half of his packed lunch and put it in John's bag. Okay, so that John had something to eat too. Okay. When John came back, he told the teacher, somebody's put some food into my bag. And the teacher said to Billy, did you put food in John's bag? And Billy said, no, I didn't do it. Was he good or naughty to say this to the teacher? Naughty. Why? Because he, because he did do it and, and he lied. Do you, think, do you think of any reason why he might have lied? Otherwise he got, would have got told off.